Well, perhaps you've noticed online ads making false promises about rooftop solar. Authorities say it could just be the beginning. A new federal law promises to boost financial incentives for those who decide to power their homes with solar energy. Fox 5 IT reporter Randy Travis is back now with more on how to avoid the problems uncovered in your hidden camera investigation, Randy. Yeah, you know, Courtney Russ, this should be the golden era for rooftop solar. New federal money and a bunch of companies competing for your business. Well, here's what you need to know to dodge any dark solar clouds. In the fast moving world of rooftop solar, gray skies are going to clear up, but beware of those who put on a happy face. I've never worked anywhere that everybody's so happy. Our hidden camera investigation revealed two solar companies advertising heavily online, but sales reps offering misleading promises about their expensive rooftop systems. But really, we're, we're eliminating a lifelong utility bill. The sales manager wrongly claimed a $70,000 system would mean we'd never have an electric bill again. Pink Energy fired him. Rooftop solar rarely replaces your entire utility bill. All of these customers say after financing their expensive solar systems, they wound up spending even more each month for power. Am I still going to pay for power? No. No, that's the, so with this system right here, you pay, this will take care of all your, all your, all of your usage. Power Home Solar admitted that wasn't true either. He kept his job. Really Both of these workers had just started, so we decided not to show their real happy faces. Did you ever click on one of those ads online that says, hey, time to go solar? They're too good to be true. I know they're wrong. <laughs> Sam Collier chose to go with a local solar company to outfit his Lake Claire home, Creative Solar USA. It wasn't so much that I thought anything would be done in a fraudulent way, like some of the things you've uncovered. It's more the sense of even when everything's working right and above board, how much production can you get to offset how much usage? His estimate warned he'd still be paying Georgia Power something each month, but the total cost was far cheaper than the ones we got, under $30,000 after rebates and discounts. The new law passed by Congress earlier this month will make those credits even bigger. Every bit that helps is better. But this is less an investment in the dollars for me as it was an investment in my kids' future. And for those times when it's raining or at night, the new law helps you pay for batteries that can store energy during the day and be used for situations like this. In fact, the old law gave you a 26% federal tax credit. Now it's a 30% federal tax credit. And it's gonna stay that way for at least the next decade. But with more money comes greater concern for deception. The Georgia Attorney General's office is already investigating one solar company. In light of the new law, the AG issued a warning not to automatically believe any sales rep's promises. Get multiple bids, get referrals from friends, and make sure the company uses a licensed electrical contractor. To the meter and to the battery. And here's a surprising tip. Charging. Sam thinks you should go with the company that promises the least. The ones who make you feel good and tell you it's all going to save the world and you're going to be in four years paid back, you know, they're probably not telling the truth on much of anything. So one of the other tips from the AG is to run the company's name through the Better Business Bureau website. It's interesting, the two companies we investigated in our hidden camera investigation, if you run their names now through the BBB, mm -hmm. you get an advisory for each of them, warning the company or the, the consumer to, to be careful and to ask certain questions about some of the same issues we raised. So it's, it's good information and good advice. Yeah. If you Google their name, you'll see your investigation too. You probably will, yes. All right, let's talk about this 30% this tax incentive. Mm -hmm. You have to have a tax liability that gets up to that number, right? They're not just going to send you free money. I Correct, would say. And you can, but you can carry it over a, a certain number of years if you don't have that amount of money uh, as a federal liability, as you said, in that first year. But that's one of the things that we caught some of these companies misleading people about. I mean, they would, they would take folks who were uh, you know, uh, disabled veterans who had no tax liability whatsoever and saying, oh, you'll get the, it was 26% at the time, uh, off the you know, bottom line of this cost. And it fooled people and they signed and they bought these systems and then they realized later when they filed their taxes that they were not going to get that money back. But it's 30% now, but you're right. You have to have that 
um, amount of money. So let's say a, a thirty thousand dollars system, you get nine thousand dollars back. You have to have at least nine thousand dollars in federal tax liability in order to take advantage of that. Well, this involves a lot of money that people would be spending to get one of these solar systems, and it's hard to get the right answers if you don't even know what questions to ask. A lot of good stuff out there on my website. We also have links to other organizations that can give you the, those answers as well. But yeah, you got to ask a lot of questions. Yeah. But the money's there now. The government wants you to put rooftop solar. They're trying to encourage you to do that now. Mm. All good, right. Good stuff, Randy. Okay. Randy, thanks, thanks very much.